I'm talking to Maggie Valencia, who actually has a very interesting job, and this is how she started. Tell us about your experience in the United States. Well, even though I had a degree there and I had a passion in customer service, so the first day I got here, I, got, I landed in a restaurant. So, and then I became a bartender and a server. So before, uh, back home, you actually studied the education? Yeah, it's a Bachelor of Science in Agricultural Education. And uh, I passed the board exam and I flew to America. But you were also working with the Ministry with the of uh, Human, Human Settlements? Human Settlements before I left in an auditing office. And then I worked, I got hired in Manila. I didn't even apply for the job, but because one Sudanese approached me I wanna, if I want to go to America and I tried. And I flew within three three months. I came to Washington, D.C. I worked with the second secretary of the Arab Embassy. After one week, we flew to Saudi Arabia for two months. That's why I speak a little Arabic. Oh. So how yeah. did you decide, decide to finally come to America in the beginning? Really, I, didn't, I was the youngest of nine. And uh, I decided to go to America because the guy approached me. My, my dad don't want me to go, but I said, I want to help you. Mm -hmm. And then I worked three jobs. I built them a house, wow. but covered by volcano, the six houses with my family and my dad's farm. Mm -hmm. Right after one month, I got here, to be honest with you, it's all God's willing. My dad diagnosed with cancer. And your mother? My mother was surviving then, and then uh, my dad survived cancer for 36 years. He died at old age, 96 years old. So it's very interesting. Yeah. I think it's all God's willing to me to go to America. I know. And then you went to Saudi Arabia? Yeah, for two months because of my employer. I see. And then, then you returned. Back. I see. So how was your experience there in Saudi Arabia? It was uh, not good because I didn't know that you don't have to wear a skirt. And I was wearing a skirt, very skinny. You know, the car stopped you. And it's not a good experience. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. I made it because there was one Filipina who's also a nanny. Help me through. Mm -hmm. So here in the United States, how, how do you find it now? You've been here for how many years now? 30 something years. 30 That's years. a lot of years. I love it. I love it. Did your father get to visit you? Uh, no, because they were too old. Too old. And, uh, not really. Yeah. No. And have you visited the country? Yes, yes. Many times. Many times. What about your siblings, your brothers and sisters? They're all there. You're yeah. the only one here. I'm the only one here and my son. Wow. Who's in the Air Force right now. Oh, I see. Yes. And I'm sure you're regularly sending some help right, to the family. Right. right. You're now, the source of livelihood. Right now, uh, not anymore because some of them, they're already in Dubai. Ate. They're right. helping their own I family see. now. Correct. Because I Correct. have my own family right. and I'm single. Uh -huh. mom, so. Tell me, Maggie, that you studied education and you're doing something else, which is also nice because you're actually teaching people about the Philippines. Right, right. But how is the change? How, how do you consider your job? Um, actually, it's easy. Yeah. I didn't even find it very hard. It's just, just, I think the way I did it like that because I want cash right away yeah. to help the family, especially my dad with the cancer yeah. so I want cash right away instead of you know looking forward for teaching right away mm -hmm, mm -hmm. that's the only reason so your message to the people when you know you work hard it's honest labor you will succeed right yes what exactly. are the ingredients to success right so what do you what is your advice well, just work hard and treat everybody as why you want to be treated it's all fair you know and people will gonna love you. If you go on TripAdvisor on my job, which is the hotel, you'll see my name there every day because I love dealing with people. You know? Very good, customer yeah. service, that's right. Yeah, I love dealing with people. Some of my, our guests, they want to say, uh, even here, some of the new one that I used to work on the other one, yes, yes. they said, oh my God, glad to see you. Uh, so it's, we love that connection with them, you know? Of course, you always, yes. um, enjoy what you're doing right and you'll be okay very good thank you so much yeah, for no advice problem. congratulations thank you, thank you.